Editor Kelly here. I wanted to let you guys know that uh, this uh, video that's coming up was um, filmed on a pain day and it was a, a delicious treat of good food but also it was very like a low key kind of like I'm hitting right now because it's pretty a pretty painful day today too. So um, just fair warning I'm okay. I just was having a pain day and it takes a lot of energy out of me. But, you gotta keep going and you gotta keep doing the things you love and I just miss you guys and I just wanted to say hi so hello now on to the vlog when it's up on the top of the fridge but my I'd have to move a bunch of stuff and my shoulders aren't gonna let me do that today so here's the view you get of me cooking today hello lovely people so fun stuff has occurred I have um, I have over 100 subscribers finally. It's only been like three and a half years, <laughs> but it's worth it. I hear that they, you know, it's the the long grind is the the long grind is the first thousand, and after that, it doesn't do too bad on its own. So let's hope. Please share this video. Please subscribe um, if you haven't subscribed already. I've got a lot of people who watch my videos that aren't subscribed so please subscribe I would really really appreciate it um, and then what else is going on oh yeah we're gonna do some cooking so I have um, about 10 shrimp here that are kind of left over in the bottom of the uh, a freezer bag we thawed those out along with this big old beautiful hunk of salmon uh, Brian has thoughtfully and wonderfully peeled all those including the tails I'm gonna make a little pocket um, out of the aluminum foil there, which we cooked all of this bacon on. Um, how we do our bacon in the oven is uh, put it down some aluminum foil and we do it at 400 at thir for 13 minutes. So the little skinny ones come out super crunchy the way that I like. And the, the little bit fatter ones come out not quite as cooked, but not wiggly, because wiggly bacon is pretty gross. And um, then this is also good for reheating if you don't overcook. I'm going to get down to that level. If you don't overcook it, then you can have some yummy leftover bacon. So, and just reheat this in and throw eggs on top of it and shovel it into your mouth hole. <laughs> That's my advice. Um, so, um, anywho, so I'm going to make a pocket out of this. And then I also, while I was cooking, we were cooking the bacon, I took some, let's see if it's cool enough to touch. No, so one second. Most stoves have a vent, um, a vent burner, and that was our vent burner. So I took a, about half a stick of butter. This is Kerrygold unsalted butter, the one that we swear by, non-spawn. It's silly that we have to always say that now, but we have to. So this is uh, Kerrygold, and I put a whole bunch of garlic and salt and pepper in it. So that's what's going to go on the salmon in a different container. And that's going to be delicious. But this is going to be just bacon. That's going to be flavoring that. I think seafood and pork are like bestie friends. Um, when you eat them, they're just like the best thing together. They're very, very yummy, especially in the dump dumpling situations and things like that. So I figured we can give it a swing with the shrimp and the bacon that we already had. And I'll be rolling that up, like I said, into a pouch. And then uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Brian's at the store right now. I know that I'm gonna see if there's any pin bones and pull them out, um, which is, well, I can't really pull them out, but if there's some pin bo bones, then Brian can pull them out for me. And, um, or us, because we're both gonna be eating that deliciousness. And then, I think that's where I'm at on that one. Um, and I will check back in uh, as I'm packing all of this stuff up. But you're gonna have to just deal with a view of, oh, me down, ah, just my, just my cooking surface. So, here goes. Let's get this kind of rolled up in a packet. Don't need to be all far apart like that. And the only flavoring this shrimp is going to get is going to be the bacon that was cooked already on this. So, that's one packet. And I'm going to wait for Brian to come home and we'll decide how we want to handle this beautiful slab of salmon. 
Um, I know that we're going to um, do the butter garlic salt situation on it, but I'm not exactly sure how we're going to manage that or what we're going to do. I, I would like to probably put it in a packet. Then you can just kind of ignore it and it poaches inside the packet. So yeah, that's what we're probably going to be doing. So. Now I'm covered in butter and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to touch my whole screen and freak out everyone with OCD. <laughs> Luckily, my pinky's clean. Look for less time than, than this guy, I think. But. Big old slap. Did you check for pin bones? Because I didn't. I did not. Okay, let's check. I need to put some. Dude. I don't feel any yeah, bones. Yeah, there's one right there. See? So they're hiding in there. Uh -huh. Oh, that's. Just a single. It's a tiny That's a big old now. slab of salmon. I'm so excited to eat that. There might be more in there, but... Okay. Let's just toss this down. And then lube it up. Lube, lube, lube it up. Oh, oh boy. Well, that doesn't look delightful already. No, that looks terrible. Gonna have to, I'm sorry, I'll eat it for you no, so you, know, you don't I, have to I suffer. think you better not chance it. I better eat it. <laughs> well, okay? You ready for me to wrap this shit up? Yeah, it's good. And then we're going to put the oven at, what do you think, 400? It is at 400, so we're good. Just throw that in there and see what happens? Yep. What's the worst that can happen? Salmon. We could burn it and it'd be horrifying the house would burn down. So let's not go into a whole what the worst could happen thing, right? If, if that was We don't need to tempt fate. If that was not wrapped up Ugh, they're still wet and weird. I would say fifteen minutes it'd probably be pretty close to done. But since it's wrapped up, I have no idea. Why don't we set it for ten and take a gander? Well, it's gonna take more than that. You think so? Why? I don't know. I'll set it for ten and we'll take a gander. Well we set it for fifteen. Too late? I'm gonna split the difference and say twelve. Thirteen is a fun number. Lucky number. 13 is a funner number. Boom. That boom is not a number. Lucky number boom. <laughs> it's not a number. You don't know, miss. It's a base CBC because I have to hold. Mm. So we pressed down there and didn't get a real easy flake in the thick spot. So yeah, it still uh, needs a little more cooking in the middle there. What do you think? Like. Tops five more minutes. I'm in heaven. Excuse me, with the burping in your ears. Sorry about that. So, what do you think? Yeah. Five some, more? Some amount of time more. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Do I look like I know anything? Uh, no, because you're very pretty. So, I mean, you gotta like bank on that. Yeah. Bank. Okay. <laughs> Brian set the timer for four minutes and then didn't push start. But my my uh, I'm incompetent. my brain well whatever. But my brain timer went off. I don't think you're incompetent. I mean, you're responsible. Well, you know what? You can just choose whatever words you want. Ah, you're putting those in your mouth. I'm not putting those in your mouth. I'm putting this in my mouth. Hell yeah. I'm oh yeah. I'm putting things in your mouth. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, just rip that apart, baby. Look at that. Ugh, oh, that's gross. It's so good, it's gross. One sec. Take a gander. Alright, ready to go. We're going to shovel it in. That's our dinner. And we're watching the second part two of the Mockingbird Mocking movies. Jay. Mocking Jay. sorry. I haven't seen, since I can't go to theaters, well I could, but I'd have to stand for the entire movie. So it has to be really worth my, my while to do so. So I haven't been to the theaters in a while, so it's, we're catching up on things that I didn't, didn't get to see yet. So, <laughs> time to go eat. So there's my bowl full of stuff, and then this is our side dish. He doesn't like salt on his, but I like salt on mine. Nom, nom, nom.